We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 8, working with comments. All right, so we've got three steps. We're going to practice adding comments, reviewing and replying to comments, resolving and deleting comments. So first you should have the using the public drive file open. We're going to put our cursor at the beginning of the first line of text that says, what does this mean? I'm going to go up to my review tab, to my comments group, and click on new comment. This is going to open up my comments panel on the right. You're going to see my name shows up right here, and then the cursor is flashing so I can type in here. So I'm going to type add more space between heading and paragraph. Now one thing to pay really close attention to on this activity is that you don't have any extra space at the end. I notice that when I'm typing, I have a, a tendency to hit that space bar automatically, but I think it will not turn it green if you have that extra space there. So pay real close attention to spelling, capitalization, and grammar on this. All right, once we've inserted a comment, we're gonna, we can go in and add more, but once it's in there, um, this is great if you are doing some collaboration like on a group project, because you could share this document with your team and then people could go in and put comments in here like so. Same as if you're turning in an assignment maybe online, your teacher may use this option to go through and help you uh, when they're grading or if you need to re revise a document. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cursor at the beginning of the fourth paragraph, the one that says the only exception to this. I'm gonna go, I should still be on my review tab. So I'm gonna click on comments and click on new. And I'm gonna type, would it help to show the folder structure? And question mark at the end. Again, make sure you don't have any spaces there. I'm gonna put a third comment at the beginning of the next paragraph. So up to comments and new. I'm going to type, don't forget to update the locations in this paragraph. And then the last comment I'm going to put in is at the beginning of the word, saving a file. Go to comments and new. I'm going to type in this section. It's very helpful. I'm going to mark as answered and go to step two. For step two, we're going to go up to our review tab and into that comments group. We're going to click on next. This will take me to the next comment in the comments list. In this case, since I was on the last one, it's going to take me back to the first one. I'm going to click on the reply button and you'll see that now it, it shows up uh, with an indented location with my name on it as well. So if you were working with other people and they commented, their names would show here instead. I'm going to type in done. Then I'm going to go up to the comment section. I'm going to click next, go to the next one. I'm going to click reply and type in no comma. I don't think so. And mark step two is answered. For step three, we're going to resolve and delete comments. So I'm going to go up to the review tab. I'm going to go to the comments section. I'm going to click on comments and next. There we go. So for this one, I'm going to click on the resolve button. What this is going to do, it's going to fade out the text, um, identifying that this comment has been resolved, but it's still going to show the comment for me, just in case I need that as a reference. I'm going to go up to comments. I'm going to go to next. For this last one, I'm actually going to right click on it to open up my menu. And I'm going to select delete comment. Once I've done all of those, I'm going to save this as using the public drive student folder. So I'm going to go file, save as, browse. I'm going to find my Jasper active folder, and then I'm going to make sure I'm in my, my projects folder. I'm going to add the word student to the end of the document title and click save. Then I can mark as answered and submit. 